Hello Virgo and welcome to your tarot forecast. This will be for January 16th through 31st, 2022. Let's get right in and see what Spirit wants you to know, wants to talk to you about for these last two weeks of January. What does Virgo need to know? So we have impressed, small gift, happy surprise, nice Virgo. So there is uh, something coming your way and um, for a lot of you this could be in the workplace, okay? Your boss or somebody in management is very impressed with your recent performance lately. So you're going to get like a little bonus, a, a little raise, something that makes you feel good. It's a happy surprise, okay? And for others of you, this doesn't have to be in the workplace, but it's like somebody around you is very impressed with you and what you've been doing and being there, just whatever, and they're going to surprise you with something special in return, okay? It's nothing huge because it says small gift, but with happy surprise sitting next to that Virgo oh, somebody is just very filling you and this could be a friend this could be your romantic partner this could be somebody in um, your friend circle you know and this could even be where you're in the drive-thru and somebody in front of you pays for your order and your order is actually big okay it could be that uh, you've impressed the universe with your beautiful ways and you're receiving some good karma in return okay it's just you've done good Virgo and now it's time to be rewarded and it's going to surprise you and make you very happy so let's pull some more cards Okay, prayers received and unmotivated. All right. Spirit is saying, you hang in there, Virgo. Don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. Okay. Your prayers have been heard. You are going to receive something over these next two weeks that is in conjunction with something you've been asking for. And with this unmotivated, that's an acknowledgement from spirit that you feel like your batteries are starting to wear out. You're running a little dry. You're just not feeling very inspired or excited about anything. And, and you've been putting it out there to the universe, the angels, you know, whoever you connect with in a spiritual sense, a, a higher being. Okay, you are heard. And there is a beautiful reward coming into your life in some way this week because you deserve it, Virgo. And it's going to bring you back to life. And you are going to feel like your prayers have been heard and that you're not all alone in this world. So let's pull some tarot and go deeper. Three of Cups, Celebration, Happiness, Six of Swords, moving on to a smoother mental body. Wow, the Star, Virgo, the Ace of Swords, King of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Page of Swords, and Seven of Cups. Nice. Okay. So, Virgo. Um, right here, 
this definitely is going to play out in the workplace for some of you because here's like a boss figure with this king of pentacles bringing news to virgo that is a cause for celebration and allows um some release in the mental body where we're not so worried like breaking free of the mental prison okay because what we've been hoping for here it is and now you finally feel like you have some options okay that you're heard that you're seen so in um job situations over these next two weeks it's very very positive of getting like um, some sort of bonus um, raise gifts um, or even getting the job Virgo because with the seven of cups it's like out of all candidates you are the one that is chosen and it's like this is all happening just as you are um, losing hope and faith okay and um, again, this doesn't have to be in the workplace. This could be a friend, somebody you know, and also coming through as the King of Pentacles. This could be like a random act of kindness that just unfolds in your life. And when that happens, know that that is the universe sending you some love and saying, yes, Virgo, you are a beautiful soul. Yes, you are a good person. Yes, you deserve good things. Okay, so it's like this next two weeks, it's like the spotlight light is on Virgo and the way the energy unfolds and what comes to you really frees up worries that have been plaguing your mind okay and getting an answer communication news that you were really hoping for okay and this is kind of like reiterated twice here with the star and the page of swords the communication the message that you were hoping for and then here um, something is offered which makes you feel like you have options Virgo. So these next two weeks, good karma, good energy flow, good things coming your way. You deserve it, which really just relaxes your mind where you don't have to worry about something so much and you're celebrating. You feel happy and you're coming back to life because it's unmotivated to me goes with this eight of swords and the six of swords it's like I just feel stuck I don't have any options there's no doors opening I don't know what to do I don't know which way to go I don't know what the solution is the answer is okay and then boom here it is finally for you um, the news that you've been hoping for and it finally like opens doors for you you feel like you have options and you're feeling blessed okay and I, I feel so strong in jobs situations Virgo you just be you don't let rejections of the past get you down somebody's going to be very impressed with you and they're going to choose you out of all others like six seven eight other people okay you will be the one that they choose so just be you have confidence feel good you're receiving news that you wanted to hear this week and you know again this doesn't have to be about jobs very very strongly aspected as such but general read so just know you're getting news that you wanted to hear this week. You're getting a happy surprise, a small gift, feeling like your prayers are answered because you've been sending them up, sending them up, sending them up, and, you know, not a whole lot's happening, right? So um, let's pull some more tarot. Let's see if Spirit wants to ask for this or bring in a different message. So for Pentacles, energy that feels very very stuck, not moving. Here's the magic. Seven of Wands and Queen of Wands. Okay, so Virgo, where you have gone from feeling like you have no options, nothing, okay, it's like there's too many now, all right? Um, there's, there's like more than one. Okay, so where you were in the drought season, you're coming out of that. And um, the energy was really stuck. It was really blocked. And now all of a sudden, it's like you are coming through as this queen of wands, which is an energy that is very charismatic, uh, very alluring, people being drawn in 
to you, okay, it's like the magic is returning and you are feeling a little overwhelmed, a, a little defensive because it's like, whoa, where were all of these options in the past? Okay, it's like having no options, um, no choices to having too many good ones to choose from, okay? And also with the small gift and surprise, this could be somebody um, returning back into your life over these next two weeks, and it just really takes you off guard, okay? Um, fire energy with the Queen of Wands, which would be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And it's like they're coming in with a peace offering here, okay? And you have your guard up. You're feeling a little defensive. You're not uh, exactly trusting because it, this, it's been a, a big block between the two of you for a while, and this could be a friend, um, this could be a family member, this could be a romantic person, okay? It's just, um, they're gonna come back in and they want to offer you an apology, they wanna offer you something emotional, and um, I just see you being a bit blocked about it, okay? But this is just kind of a little extra message that Spirit wants you to know that somebody's coming back in. And you know, with the Ace of Cups, to me, that's what they're offering you, it feels in earnest, Virgo. Um, if they're sorry, they mean it. Um, if they miss you, they mean it. If they want to be back with you, they absolutely mean it, okay? It, it's, it's a true story here um, with that Ace of Cups. And it may be also, it's just like all kinds of people are starting to just like hit you up and you're feeling very popular and social these last two weeks of January, like people wanting to hang out with you, go places with you, to where now you're feeling overwhelmed. In the past, it's like you couldn't get anybody to go do something with you to save your life, and now everybody's like, hey, Virgo, let's do this. Hey, Virgo, let's go do that. Virgo, 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 and it, it might be a little overwhelming, but it is a big shift these next two weeks of your energy where you are feeling popular. You you are feeling wanted, you are feeling like loved and blessed and getting what you deserve and it, you know there's a very beautiful happy surprise for you this week Virgo. So let's uh, pull some love energies and see how your love energies are for these last two weeks of January. love songs solo journeys end jealousy feelings ignited and positive shift okay Virgo this is a message for um, my singles or my newly involved Virgos out there um, there's somebody who has recently come into your life or is about to come into your life. Um, let's just, I'm going to pull one more card to see if this is somebody from the past. I'll, I'll pull two more. Is this new? Is this, okay, what is this? Okay, so we have same mistake. So definitely for some of you, somebody from the past coming back. Okay, unrequited attraction. All right, Virgo. So this is a general read, and the way I'm seeing this truly is like somebody who has just come into your life or is about to come into your life, and this new person for some of you could be somebody from the past, okay? And for those of you where uh, this is somebody from the past coming back in, they rejected you in the past, okay? Um, and you kind of feel like, ugh, this is just going to be the same thing all over again, all right? But there's something that's changed in this person's heart, all right? Their feelings have ignited. There's been a big positive shift inside them, and they're, they are haunted by you. They want to make you theirs, okay? They're jealous thinking of anybody touching you, having you, being with you. And it's like they had their chance, but they, they rejected you, why? 
who knows, Virgo, it could be it wasn't the right time, they still wanted to play the field, maybe back then they weren't feeling you, it's just now they've had a total change of heart and you're all they can think about, okay, so they're coming back in because they want to put you on lock. Now, those of you who have just recently met somebody, recently got involved, you feel as though it's like they, they push you out and then they kind of pull you back in. It's like, I don't know where I really stand with you because in one moment it's like they're into you and then the next moment they're not and you're kind of just getting to the point where, you know what, nope, done. And they're, when they start coming in strong these last two weeks, Virgo, it's because something has changed inside of them. And I feel like you kind of pulling your energy back makes them jealous and is what's going to get you that commitment. It's like um, when you start not being available to them and all of that, then they something is just shifting inside of them. And now those of you where this is somebody new that's about to come in, um, the thing with this is at first, I feel it's going to kind of be a bit of a rocky start, a bit of like back and forth energy. However, um, the message is the same. The more like you kind of mirror their energy back by pulling back, it's like it makes them jealous. OK, um, and that's then they're going to be like, no, I don't want you to be with anybody else. But this is like a confession of love for Virgo um, by the end of January, whether this is somebody um, coming back or somebody newer in your life. It's like they're going to confess and they're going to be like, I'm in Virgo, I'm in. And you could also be where you're messing around with somebody new. This person from the past comes back in, OK, which is going to cause the past person or the new person to be like, okay, I need to put Virgo on lock because I don't want to lose Virgo. So definitely um, professions of love for Virgo where you've been receiving rejection, okay, or pushback or somebody's just like kind of hot and cold. All of a sudden their feelings are ignited. They've had a positive shift and the thought of you being with anybody else makes them very, very jealous and they just, they can't stand it. Page of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Queen of Cups, Ten of Wands. Okay, yeah. They are thinking about you. They are hearing songs. Like, oh. And here, the Seven of Pentacles with Solo journey, Journeys. And Virgo, you're going to get this offer of commitment because they're really afraid of losing you. And I feel, um, you know, there could have been an ultimatum put out there at some point, um, or we've had a disagreement, a falling out, an argument. And it's like through distance, through like putting things at an arm's distance, this person has a shift in their emotions because feelings ignited Queen of Cups. This is somebody who is deeply in their feelings about you, okay? And, you know, this is a general read, so this could go the other way around, where somebody that you've been keeping at arms, babe, kind of hot and cold, um, rejecting all of a sudden, you're like, boom, oh my gosh, I love you. Like, what am I doing? Because it's like the person who is in and out, kind of pulling back, it's because they get very overwhelmed by the intensity of the connection, okay? They get very overwhelmed by it. But they're going to have this positive shift and come out of this Ten of Swords to this Queen of Cups um, feelings ignited where it's like, you know what? You're all I think about. You're all I want. Let me make it up to you. I can't think of anybody else having you. That is defeating to me. Virgo, this could be where you were dating somebody and they were playing these games. So you let them go and now you're with somebody new and they're jealous as all can be seeing you posting pictures, things like that. And they're going to come back in and try to snatch you up and be like, even if the, the chances, the odds are not in my favor, I am still going to come in and try to get Virgo, you know, um, profess their love, their heart to you. Virgo. So let's just pull a couple more cards about this. And those, um, and you are a little bit hesitant because you're like, look, I'm tired of this game. But they're, they're real, Virgo. Virgo. 
Reigniting Connection, In Pursuit, Apology, yeah, see Virgo? And that's probably why I like, with this newer energy, um, a new person, it's like they're slow to try to commit or something like that, okay? And so like pulling your energy back is, is what does it. Because um, whether this is somebody from the past coming back in or this is somebody who's newer that's been back and forth, it's reigniting and they're going to be in hot pursuit of you. And they are going to apologize. Whatever was overwhelming them, it's they've had a positive shift and your their feelings for you is what is at the forefront for them at this time. Okay, not the fear. It's the emotion for you. And they're in hot pursuit of you, Virgo. And I really do feel it's because you pulled your energy back and it made them very, very jealous. All right, so those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.